Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about creating section plane for visualizing 3D solids in AutoCAD 3D. So these section planes are very helpful for visualizing the solids which cannot be done in real life objects. For example, in this case, I'll use this USB model to explain this command. Now to see the internal geometry of this USB, we can use section planes. So for that, make sure you are in 3D modeling workspace and from this 3D modeling workspace and section panel, select this section plane. Now once section plane is selected, click at any plane on which you want to create this sectioning plane. So here we have this right side of this geometry. We'll select this one. And once you click, a section plane will be added here. Now, once our selection is complete, click on the section plane. After selecting the section plane, you'll see some grips and there will be a gizmo here. Using these gizmos and grips, you'll be able to manipulate the section plane. So let's first click on this gizmo to activate it. And now move our section plane inside this geometry. And as soon as you move it inside, you'll see a live preview of the sectioning. You are able to see this live preview because live sectioning is turned on and you can see this by the display panel here. So in display panel, this live section is turned on and that's why you're able to see the preview. If you don't want to see the live preview, then click on this live section and the section plane will be inside the geometry, but a preview will not appear. So it's better to keep this live section turned on. Now, if you want to reverse the direction of preview, then click on this small arrow grip. So once you click on this small arrow grip, it will reverse the direction of sectioning. In this case, the sectioning will happen on the left side and you'll be able to see the view on the right side of the geometry. But obviously this is more distracting. So I'll switch it back to the original and I'll click on this grip again to switch it back. So let's orbit this geometry now. In order to see both the geometries, which is a sectioned, that is removed geometry and the geometry which is present, you can select show cutaway geometry from contextual menu. So for that, select the section plane, then right click and select show cutaway geometry from this contextual menu. And now the section geometry will appear in red indicating it's the removed geometry for this drawing. So in order to switch back, Let's double click on this section plane and you'll be able to see that live sectioning and also cutaway geometry is turned off. In order to activate it again, double click here and all the settings will be turned on. So now right click and select the show cutaway geometry once again to exit it. Now, in this case, we have added a section on the right plane, but it is not a restriction. You can add section plane on the different sides of this geometry as well. For example, let's go to this home and press escape key and now select section plane and this time I'll select a section plane on the top of this geometry. So for that, go to this orthographic option on the command line and select top from all the options and a section plane will be added on the top of this geometry. Although this section plane will be added at the actual top view, you can move it. So let's select, select this blue gizmo arrow and move it in order to move in the geometry and see the different components. So you can directly see the real time preview of the sectioning. If you don't want to see this plane, then select right click and erase it. Now we only have a single section plane. A section plane in this case is completely flat object, but you can create a different or a complex type of section plane as well for seeing it more clearly. But before that, let's turn on the live sectioning for that. Select the section view right click and select activate live sectioning. Now once live sectioning is turned on, right click and select add jog to section from this contextual menu. And now click at a point on this section plane. For that, we can turn on nearest option. So press and hold shift key, then right click and select nearest. And now go close to this section plane and click at a point where you want to add this jog. And once you do this, you'll see that a jog will be added here. Now you can modify this plane using these grips. For example, here we have a grip. Let's select this grip and move it like this. And the plane will move according to that. You can also click on this middle grip and move it to manipulate its position. Let's move it backwards. And you can also modify it in this way. So this can be used to make complex sectioning in our geometry. You can also add more jogs to this existing section plane. And that's not all about sectioning. So let's first 
get back to the normal sectioning plane so here we have this flat section plane in order to see different kind of section planes which are available select the section plane and then click on this small down pointing arrow grip you'll see that the plane section is selected let's select boundary now and now a boundary will be created and now you can manipulate your section using these boundaries so here we have the boundary let's click on this boundary object extend it all the way to this point and you'll be able to see the sectioning so there is a grip on that side as well so let's select it and here is the grip select this grip and you can now modify it using this grip as well so these grips can be used now the boundary grips for creating a live sectioning of the geometry and now let's see the third type of sectioning here so let's click on this arrow and select volume and in this case you can directly see the complete sectioning from all the sides so here we have a top grip and you can move this grip to see the sectioning from the top the bottom grip and there are also some grips on this side and a grip on this side and also similar grip on the next side so using these sectioning styles you can see your drawing in different ways and you can visualize it more clearly so let's get back to original plane we are not going to look at slice so let's select plane and here we have the original sectioning plane you can not only create the section views but you can also save them as blocks or simple drawing objects in 2d and 3d so let's first try to save this geometry as a block in 2d so here we have the sectioning plane in order to save it as 2d select the sectioning plane then right click and select generate section and then 2d to 2d 3d block from here you'll see some options make sure in this 2d 3d plane 2d section or elevation is selected if you want to create a 2d geometry from source geometry select include all objects if you want to create it as a block then select this as a new block or you can export it to a file which we don't want for now let's click on create now then the section plane is created in 2d and it will be placed on the top view so let's click at a point and enter the default values so here we have the default value and when you click on the top view you'll be able to see the sectioning which is created here on the top plane you can see it more clearly by changing it to 2d wireframe visual style and the drawing is more clear now let's now change back to shaded view and let's try to create one more sectioning but this time a 3d section so before doing that let's change to parallel view and i'll re erase this one as well so for creating a 3d section go to this section plane again and see repeat the same process of generating section 2d 3d block and here in 2d 3d panel select this 3d section keeping all the other options as they were and select this create button now I specify a point and accept all the default values by pressing enter key thrice and the geometry in 3d has been added so let's press double the middle mouse button and you will be able to see the geometry so here we have the geometry let's move it close to the actual geometry so let's select it and move it here now the sectioning has been generated here and you can now change its visual style to see it more clearly now in order to remove the sectioning from this original geometry select the section plane then right click select erase and your drawing will be returned to the original configuration but the sectioning view will also exist in the drawing here so the sectioning view is present along with your new drawing so this was all about sectioning in autocad drawing and i hope this video was clear to you if you have questions related to autocad sectioning then do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share and subscribe to this video thanks again for watching